What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, me, Nick, KB Bassmaster, Caitlin joined us out here today, and new co-host to the channel, Honey! <laughs> She's joining us out here on the ice. We just got uh, our tip-ups all set up. We hopped into the shack, started warming up a little bit, and now we just looked outside, we've got two tip-ups. So, let's go do this, honey. First walleye, come on. Oh boy, you got it. Shack. All right, let's go catch a walleye, honey. Uh, as you guys can see, we got a blinking red light there, and we got a blinking red light there. Oh boy. Caitlin's never caught a walleye ice fishing before, so. <laughs> no, my pants are done. Hopefully, uh, we can make that happen, right? All right, well, not the best sign to start our night. I mean, looking outside and seeing two tip-up lights and flags, that's always a good sign. But when you get to them and there's absolutely no movement between either one of them, that's not always the best sign. Sometimes they pick it up and drop that minnow. They honestly could just be sitting there though and just choking down that minnow. So we're gonna give them just a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and check both of them right away. No movement out of either one of these. So we're gonna go ahead and take them right away. A lot of times we like to wait, but last time Nick was out here, had a total of 18 flags. So we really don't want to waste any time because he had 18 in a short time frame. Yep, there's our minnow. All right, so there's the first one. Minnow's still alive. We're gonna get that back down there right away. And we're gonna go check that other tip up. All right, we just had a tiny little bit of movement out of the second tip up. Okay, set that down. Okay, so now you're gonna lift it up real slowly. Really slow. Okay, definitely fish there. Yeah, there's definitely movement. And then some movement. take out some of this line. Okay. Set that to the side here. And then just feel until you feel weight, and then when you do, just set the hook. And when you feel weight, just pull straight up. So. Like that? Yep. Got him. Is going. there weight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull it that way. Yep. <gasps> yep. There oh, we go. That's a nice one. Let's oh go, Caitlin. Oh my gosh, that's my biggest <laughs> thing ever. Honey, what is that? What is this? What is that? That's it's a, a fish. Holy cow. It's a Baby girl. Oh, I Here cannot guys. believe that one wasn't running. She was just sitting Honey. there, oh. hanging on to her. Here's Caitlin's first walleye <laughs> through the ice. It's not a bad one. No, no not at all. She's done some spring fishing on the Wisconsin River and That's maybe caught bad, like a 14 inch or something, but well, that one's probably Honey wants nothing in the to do slot it. or something, but <laughs> yeah, it's that's a, first, a nice one. That's a nice starter fish. We just got out here and these are the first two flags. First one was a bus, but second one was not. Chubby. chubby. Yeah. Chubby Definitely monkey. chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that's a fish. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get her unhooked. One last look at this beauty of a fish. Caitlin's PB, 21 and a half inches. This She's one, warming up in the shack right now. Our hands got cold catching it, so. This one is in the slot, so it's gonna have to go back. Come on, buddy. Oop, there he goes. Awesome. That is gorgeous, beautiful fish. Awesome way to start 2020, guys. It is New Year's Day. We're out here, we got two flags. First one is a beautiful slot walleye. Hopefully we get some more flags here soon. We're gonna get this tip up back into the water, head back into the shack where it's warm. So let's do it, we'll see you guys on the next fish. Tip up number three, hopefully fish number two. Let's go check it out. We haven't had any movement yet, but that last one really wasn't doing any movement. Yeah. Maybe a little little bit, and there was a fish on it, so. I think we're just gonna go ahead and take it. Here we go. Nothing. I almost thought I felt a little something, but definitely did not. And it does not feel like there's a minnow on here either. And there's not. Ooh. Robbed. The one that got away. All right, well, get this down there. We're gonna go ahead and grab another minnow. And we'll get this tip up back down there. That's unfortunate, but third tip up, so it's not a bad sign. Well, the fish are not really cooperating, so figure uh, we're just chilling in the shack right now, waiting for our next flag. We get a lot of comments of people asking us how we like to rig our tip ups for these walleyes. So there's so many different methods that you can do, but we're gonna explain kind of how we like to set it up because. We've been perfecting it for the past couple years here and it seems like it's actually starting to really produce. So, got my beaver dam tip up. We like to use beaver dam stuff for bill. Uh, just a preference because I think this is one of the better tip ups in the market. I got that spooled up with just simple tip up line. Right now, that's all that's on there. I don't have a leader on there, but I do have the stuff to make one. I'm not gonna make one 
right now, but I am going to show you guys what I like to do. So I got the black tip up line, and then on the end of that, we'll go right into the barrel swivel. Doesn't really matter what size, I suppose. You could go as small as you want with still getting the strength that you want, but run that straight to the black line. And then from that, you'll run a leader for the leader that I like to use. This is P line, 100% pure floor carbon. I actually just started using this last year. I have not gotten a single break off. This is, what pound is this? This is actually only eight pound test and I've caught multiple fish over eight pounds on this line have not had a break off. Usually with walleyes you can run lighter line, especially in clear waters like what we're fishing. Uh, it just helps to seem to get some bites. So that's the leader I usually want to do, I don't know, maybe 20 inches. So then from there, it's pretty simple. Run a split shot, doesn't really matter what size, just something to get the minnows on the bottom, especially when you're going for walleyes because you want that minnow to be exactly where you put it, which is for us about six to six inches to a foot would not go over a foot only reason I would ever do that is if there was weeds on the bottom and you want it right above it. But that's pretty much it. And then you're obviously going to need some hooks. This is Gamagatsu hook, a treble. This is by far the best in the game. Most durable, sharpest hooks you can probably buy. They are a little bit pricey, but you want to make sure you have good hooks for good hookup ratios. Obviously, it's very important when you come to ice fishing. These are uh, size four. This is actually for pike, but it's the only thing that I had in my bag right now with me. I usually run a size eight or a size 10, depending on, you know, if I'm going for smaller walleyes or bigger walleyes. This lake, I'd probably run an eight just because they, are, they run a little bit bigger here. So, but definitely a red hook, nothing else on it seems to be the ticket. Sometimes I do run, like, let's see, I got in my bag. I have some like beads. You could run some beads on there. These are just some orange ones. You could do whatever color you want. I see people, do these i used to do these in the past but it seems like the red hook and the split shot have just been working better so that's pretty much how we like to do it and like i said you set it six inches to a foot off the bottom and that's pretty much as simple as it gets and then uh yeah you just end up sitting in the shack just like what we're doing right now waiting for a flag so hopefully uh, we can get another flag obviously caitlin got that nice walleye and we'll just see what happens as the night goes on what do you think is there one behind you right now i'm hoping so should i check take a peek come on Nope. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. But, you know, walleyes is, is pretty much just a waiting game, depending on what you're doing and the spot that you're at. So we're just going to keep on waiting and hoping for the best here. What do you think, Kate? Um, It's coming in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, Honey, how you feeling? She's out. Honey's sleeping. So <laughs> we're going to hang out and then we're going to try and catch another fish. So see you soon. Hurry up, dude. We got a tip off. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Here we go. Kaylin, you coming? No, I stay here with honey. All right, we'll be back with a 10 pounder. Okay. Gotta keep the pup warm. Oh, man. Oh, boy. We said we were gonna give it till about 7 o'clock. Do you know how to operate this? I know how to operate it. Let's go. We said we were gonna give it till 7. It's 6.50 right now. So this might be our last flag. Might be our last flag unless something crazy happens in about five minutes. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, it's the old Jolly Roger tip up. Do we have any movement? No. The answer is no. Mm, definitely not a lot of movement at all. Tonight. No, every time we get to them, it seems like seems like that's actually been a trend most of this year, to be honest with you. Not yeah, every time. Like absolutely nothing going on. Most of the time. All right, here we go. Miracle's gonna happen. But you never know. Yep. Fish? Got him. Got him? Yep. How's it feel? Can't tell you yet. First Ransom walleye of 2020 for Brando. Oh boy. Second one of the night. Some head shakes. Is that that giant 27 and a half that I? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh there we go. There we go, okay. baby. That's a nice Woo! one. That's definitely probably an over the slaughter. I'm yeah, sure. that's going to be a. Oh, it's close. That's close. It's probably close to that 24. I it's bet. close to that 24 mark. It's going to be really close to being inside of the slot, but hey, gorgeous fish. We're going to go ahead, get this one unhooked right away. 
Check that out though. This one does actually have some orange beads yep, that we see, were talking just about. That's what we were talking about. That. Yeah, this one I think actually this one does has have a spinner on it too. And this is mine. I haven't actually really touched this at all this year. This is how I had this set up last year. Right. So we're going to go ahead and grab the pliers, get this guy unhooked. All right. One last look at that beast. Beautiful color. Awesome fish. Very awesome fish. Just over the slot. This one went for 25. Beautiful fish. We're going to go ahead. Get a release on them. That is an awesome, awesome fish. Awesome, awesome way to way, end the night. Awesome way to start the year and an awesome way to end the night. Let's go ahead, get him going here. Just gotta be gentle with him. And here he goes. Oh, he wanted to. Yeah, very important to get the big females back, guys. Yes, that is awesome. That is such a great feeling. I've got a cold. I'm not feeling so great, but I'll tell you what. That is a great feeling right there. Best one of the year so far for me, to be honest with you. Well, actually, <laughs> yeah. now it's yeah, now it's 2020. Today's but... the first. Today is January <laughs> Of course, that's the best one. That's the I first one. I haven't caught a walleye yet. What's wrong with me? I don't know. So we're going to give it just a little bit longer, but unfortunately, like we said, today is New Year's, and of course, it's Wednesday, so all of us have to work tomorrow in the morning, so we are probably going to be packing it up here soon. So we'll see. Maybe we got one more. Otherwise, we'll see you guys at the truck. Woo! That was fun. That was one heck of a hike back. I am out of breath. Oh my goodness. Well, not a bad night. Not a bad night at all. It's quite the hike getting out to that spot. It's just over a mile for us. So you gotta walk a mile in, walk a mile all the way back. We had the pup with us. We had Caitlin with us. We got yeah, all of this gear. Why don't you go ask her see how chef. she enjoyed her first yeah, experience yeah. with this ice fishing. Yeah, she's come with us before, but- uh, Not for walleye. Mm -mm. Not like this. Caitlin, Caitlin what? what'd you think? Um, it was fun and all, but it's too cold. <laughs> too cold. Too, too cold? Yeah. How about the walk? Was the walk pretty brutal? Yeah. Yeah. Honey? Yeah, it was brutal for her. Just chilling. She told there. me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna let her warm up. We're gonna go ahead, get all of our belongings packed into the vehicle. But guys, just wanna say thanks for joining us. We had an awesome time out here tonight. We ended up getting into two beautiful walleyes. Caitlin's was uh, right in the slot at about 21 and a half and mine was just over the slot. So that was pretty cool. Some really, really nice fish. Obviously those were not the true, true wall mounting giants that we're looking for, but it's close and it's awesome to see that this lake is filled with fish that are in the slot and slightly above. So again, we're going to go ahead, pack everything up, but thanks for joining us. If you guys have any questions on how we were doing things, you know, maybe a little bit more in depth on the tip ups, we do use iFish Pros as well. So if you guys have questions on how to use those, let us know. We can always make uh, some more content on that in our future videos. In our future videos, we are also going to be doing a lot more walleye fishing. The season's honestly just beginning. It's 2020, guys. It's going to be an awesome, awesome year, and this is a great way to start it. We're looking to have a Canada trip as well uh, possibly maybe even in the winter time but we're thinking more so open water so if you guys have any recommendations as far as where you guys think is a really good spot to fish maybe a place you guys like to camp and hang out uh, let us know whether it's in the Midwest northern Wisconsin Minnesota uh, or maybe even a, a good spot to go for a good old Canada trip with the boys so let us know what you guys thought again as always thank you so much for watching smash that like button if you enjoyed if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell we greatly greatly appreciate it guys until next time tight lines from nb edits